Who wins a theoretical fight between Kindo Slice and Butterbean? We're about to do a fantasy fight breakdown, so stay tuned. Hello fight fans, welcome back to Fantasy Fight Breakdowns. My name is Damien, and here not only do we make dream matchups using superstar fighters of today, all the way through to legendary fighters of the past across all combat sports, but we also take an in-depth look at the fight. I break it down as technically best as I can to predict a winner and by what method. I myself am a student of jiu-jitsu and MMA, but most of all, I'm just a massive fight fan like you. Today, we've got a heavyweight super fight. So let's get straight to it. Episode number 13, it's another fan fight viewer request. I'm doing these videos each and every week. So if you have a fantasy matchup that you want to see me do a breakdown of in a future episode, let me know down in the comments below right now. Butterbean, of course, starting his boxing career in the super heavyweight division, earning his nickname, the King of Four Rounds. While Kimbo Slice was the nickname, the heavyweight king of the streets of Miami, both of these men making the transition to mixed martial arts later on in their fighting careers. Let's take a look at how this show works. Obviously, in order to do any sort of accurate breakdown of the fight, there needs to be some consistent rules at play. So each fighter has been assessed in their prime years. I have stated what year we've assessed each fighter's skill sets. Every fight is going to be assessed if it's taken place in an MMA style cage and match rules have been taken from UFC 1. This means no weight classes, no timed rounds, no judges scorecards. We're going to take a look at the keys to victory for both fighters before I give my own breakdown analysis of how the fight plays out to predict a winner. Now let's check out the matchup. So as we take a look at the matchup card for episode number 13, we can see we've got Butterbean, in his prime 2007, Kimbo Slice in his prime in 2010. He has a 5 inch reach advantage over Butterbean. He also has a slight 3 inch height advantage, but Butterbean has a massive 100 pounds weight advantage over him. Kimbo training out of the American Top Team Academy, while Butterbean, the super heavyweight boxer who also fought in K1, Pride, and Cage Rage. Kimbo notably fighting in UFC and Bellator after becoming famous for his street fights. I'd say both of these fighters have similar boxing styles with limited use of the jab, opting for more heavy hooks and overhands. Both men can call themselves mixed martial arts fighters having competed in several MMA fights, but both of these guys want to use their boxing to knock each other's heads off. We can see that Butterbean has a skill score rating of 66 points, three stars, while Kimbo Slice has a skill score of 74 points, a four star fighter. If you want to see how I got those skill scores for both of these fighters, I've linked their fighter breakdown videos in the description below. So check those out. Before we get to the breakdown of the fight, we'll just quickly look at the keys of victory for both men. Butterbean, he'll want to make this a boxing match as much as he can and steer away from it being a complete mixed martial arts fight. He needs to be careful of going down to the mat being mounted by Kimbo Slice. While Kimbo, he needs to use his speed advantage on the feet while also potentially getting a takedown to get Butterbean flat on his bat on the mat. He needs to be, obviously be careful of that one punch KO power that Butterbean is famous for. Both of these men have a good chin and can absorb a punch, but both men also have that KO power in their fists. Now let's get to the breakdown. I think who lands the biggest punch in this fight is going to be the second biggest factor. More importantly, it's going to be about who gasses out first. Both of these men start the fight with the most power in their fists and therefore the best chance to win. From the start of the fight, Kimbo has a far better movement. For a big man, he's actually quite light on his feet. He likes to bounce around on that front foot and explode into his big punches with big lunging movements. Butterbean, on the other hand, is a definition of a flat-footed fighter who relies on his own weight, giving him that center of gravity to throw his big heavy punches without becoming too off-balance himself. His weight also makes him a pretty immovable target, even when taking big punches from other heavyweights, just like Kimbo. For the first minute, I see Kimbo bouncing in and out, landing some big shots, but that big fat neck of Butterbean will be able to keep his head steady enough and he's going to survive Kimbo's early onslaught of heavy punches. Butterbean will probably want to walk into the shots, hoping to catch Kimbo himself with a big punch. But Kimbo in the first few minutes is going to have the ability to stay out of the way from Butterbean slapping hooks. Thankfully in this fight Kimbo doesn't need to worry about being taken down and wasting energy with the clinch and wrestling. Butterbean's going to be taking a lot more punches than he lands due to Kimbo's quickness but he only needs to land that one big shot to get a knockdown. It would actually be interesting to see if Kimbo with his pride on the line if he would engage in a slog fest and stand up to the Butterbean's big power. Although this would be a smart strategy for him to win. 
If Kimbo wanted the win, he just needs to get Butterbean to the mat and stay on top. Butterbean, with his back flat on the mat, resembles a turtle flipped on its shell. There is no way he wins this fight if that happens, especially if the fight is longer than two minutes deep, which it is by this point. Remember, there is no time rounds, so no bell to save either one of these guys from their own exhaustion. At best for Butterbean, if he was to get on top of Kimbo, there's no way Kimbo would be able to get back up with that extra 100 pounds on top of him. But you could be sure that he still wouldn't give up either. Of the two fighters, although Kimbo is tired, I think he can still avoid that big punch. He has the ability to tire out Butterbean with his athleticism and speed and get this fight won either on the feet or better yet on the ground by driving his fist into the unprotected face of Butterbean who is just far too exhausted to defend himself. So that's how I see this fight going. Kimbo Slice, early on, his cardio and speed advantage is going to play a massive factor on the feet. He's going to avoid that big punch from Butterbean. He's going to land some good shots of his own before out of exhaustion, out of a good shot, Butterbean is down to the mat where Kimbo Slice is going to jump on top of him and get the win via TKO. Butterbean's just going to be too tired. There we have it, fight fans. The winner of episode number 13 is Kimbo Slice via TKO. As always, let me know down in the comments below if you agree, if you disagree, if you haven't already and you like what this channel's about, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm bringing out new videos like this each and every week. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. I really do. And until next time, I'll see you back here at Fantasy Fight Breakdowns.